back lottery fans today i'm going to be showing you a lucky pick three rundown that i've been using for the last few weeks i've been tracking in several different states as always but uh, i want to show you two states where uh, you can go ahead and see the examples and then as always go ahead and give it a try in your state and let me know in the comments below if it's working for you so as i said it's just, we're going to be using the pick three uh, rundown and we're going to be using the tic-tac-toe rundown worksheet for those of you that don't already have this worksheet it is completely for free for download you can get it from lotterypredicts.com uh, it's in the resources section uh, there's a link down below in the description and uh, if, if we'll be using the mirror numbers with this rundown today so if you don't know what the mirror numbers are get this rundown worksheet so you can use the mirror numbers off of this worksheet and of course this worksheet is uh, good for any of the other pick three lottery rundowns we do where we use the tic-tac-toe rundown worksheet and we actually have a lot of other stuff on that download section the resources section that you can get for free to help you with all of your other lottery rundowns let's go ahead and jump into it uh, so the first state I'm going to be showing you uh, is going to be for Florida and specifically the Florida evening pick three now the uh, the date I've been starting with this rundown, uh, we're going to need two results from this rundown. But the base date I start out is actually yesterday's date, which was eight twenty six. Uh, so to do this rundown, uh, it's a little bit different from some of the other rundowns we've done, but a little bit similar to some of the other rundowns we've done. So uh, what we're going to need to do is get two results where the middle number of those results are the same. So what I do is I start with the base date result, which is 826. I pick out the result from the Florida Evening Lottery for 826, which was a 776. And then what you're going to need to do is go back and look into the history of uh, the past results of the Pick 3 Lottery and find another number that started has a uh, middle number of 7. So you can do that by going to the Florida Lottery website or the uh, Florida Lottery results are on lotterypredictor.com as well. So you can get it from there. And I start on 826 and I backtrack every single day until I find uh, that next result that had a 7 in the middle. Uh, and it wasn't hard to find. Actually, on 821 in the Florida Lottery, the result was a 374. So those two 7s in the middle are critical to making this rundown work. And you'll see why as I start to fill in the base grid. So now we've got our two results. What we do is we start with the 776 and we put it in our standard pattern, top left to bottom right, like so. 776. Then what we're going to do is going to take this 374 and we're going to put it from the top right to the bottom left. 374. And as you'll see, that's why it's very important to have the same middle number because they share that middle spot. So you'll, that's why it's important to have two sevens in the middle there for the Florida Evening Lottery. Now to go ahead and fill in these blank spots, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take the number from the left of the blank spot or the right of the blank spot or if it's on the side it's on top and on bottom of the blank spot and we're going to add them together to get the number here so we'll start with the top one seven plus three that's a ten now in pick three lottery we can only have a single digit so we only always take the right handmost digit so the right handmost digit of ten is zero so we'll put a zero in there then we're going to go ahead and do the same on the bottom so four plus six that's also a ten so we'll take the zero from there put it in there now on the left hand side we're going to take the bottom top number and the bottom number add those together so seven plus four is eleven but just taking the right handmost digit that's a one so put a one there and finally on the right hand side three plus six is nine so we can just put a nine in there so that's how to fill out the base grid hopefully you followed along don't worry i'm going to do another state in a minute so you'll be able to see another example of exactly how that works now to get the translator grid what we're going to do is we're going to take our mirror numbers here and we're going to take every single number, look up the mirror number, and put it in on the translated grid. So we'll start with 7. We'll look up 7 on the top line. Number below it is 2. That would be our mirror number. So 2 goes in there. Same with 0. Look on the top line. Uh, the one num So we found 0. The one below it is a 5. So that's our mirror number. We'll put the 5 in there. 3. The one below it is 8. Put the 8 in there. And then we're just going to keep going down. 1 is 6. 7 is 2. 9 is 4. 4 is 9, 0 is 5, and 6 is 1. So now we've got all of our mirror numbers filled out on our translated grid. So now we've got our base grid filled out and our translated grid filled out. We can go ahead and pick our patterns to play on these grids to get our six suggested numbers. We're going to pick six, three numbers from the base grid, three numbers from the translated grid, and we'll play the same pattern on both grids. And the pattern that I'm going to play for this uh, is going to be the standard 
vertical straight downs. So we're going to take the three vertical straight downs from our base grid. That gives us a 714, a 070, and a 396. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply the exactly the same pattern again on our translator grid. So a 269, a 525, and an 841. That again, that's a 269, a 525, and an 841, like so. And there we have it. Those are the six numbers that we have picked out of our rundown for the Florida Evening Lottery. So we can go ahead and start playing these six numbers in the Florida Evening Lottery. Let me go ahead and do another state, though. Show you another example of this rundown so you can uh, uh, get another, see how it works again, step through it again. And this time we're going to be doing California. And once again, we're going to be doing the California evening pick three. Uh, and same date starting on 826, which was yesterday. As for the Florida, we only need the two results. So we'll start with the 826 result, and 826 is a 905. So I went back and I looked in the past results for the California Pick 3 Evening Lottery to find the, another number that start, had a zero in the middle. I uh, didn't actually have to look far. On the 23rd of August, uh, we actually had a 107. So zero in the middle of this result, zero in the middle of this result. That's critical, as you know, when we put in the base grid because they share this middle spot here. So we start by putting the first number that came out on 826 on the 905 diagonally from top left to bottom right, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and take that 107, uh, take it from top right to bottom left. So 107, like so. Then we're going to do the calculations again. So we'll take the, on the top and the bottom row, we'll take the left number and the right number, add them together. So 9 plus 1 is 10, so we'll take that 0 from there. 7 plus 5 is 12, so we'll take the 2 from there. And then on the two sides, we'll take the top and the bottom numbers and add those two together. So 9 and 7 is 16, so we'll take that 6. And 1 and 5 is 6, so we'll put a 6 there. So that's our base grid. Now we can go ahead and do our translator grid. We're going to use the mirror numbers again. And I highly recommend if you do this and you do some backtracking and you check, uh, if the mirror numbers don't seem to be hitting for you, switch over and use the flip numbers. These are interchangeable with the rundowns. You can use either or. I'm using the flip, the mirror numbers, but there's no reason why if it doesn't, the mirror numbers aren't hitting, you can't go ahead and use the flip numbers instead for your translated grid. So we'll look up 9. 9 is a 4, so put a 4 there. 0 is a 5. 1 is a 6. 6 is a 1. 0 is a 5. 6 is a 1. 7 is a 2. 2 is a 7. And 5 is a 0. So there's our translated grid filled out with our mirror numbers. And as much as the same as we did with uh, the Florida numbers, we're going to go ahead and play those vertical straight down. Three from our base grid, and then we'll play three from the translated grid as well. But our base grid starts out giving us a 967, a 002, and a 165. And then same pattern again on the translated grid. So we're going to say 412, a 557, and a 610. And there we have it. Those are the six numbers that we can now start playing in our California Evening Lottery. So there you have it. Those are the, that's the Florida rundown. That's the California rundown. Hopefully you've got another example so you can go ahead and start doing this rundown in your state. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you like these rundown videos. Of course, share this video with anyone else that likes the lottery. Really appreciate all those shares. It really helps us grow. And leave me a comment below in the description if, uh, if you see this, this rundown working in your state. Love to get those successful ones. One other quick note for those of you that uh, didn't see yesterday, the September edition of the Number Vault is now available. Highly recommend you go ahead and get it. Uh, the Number Vault is the monthly tip sheet that I put out chalk block filled with pick three and pick four numbers i've done all the algorithms all the rundowns uh, and picked all those numbers already out for you uh, and you get uh, all the state numbers in here as well so uh you you know whichever state you're in your numbers are in this uh, number vault as well you can go ahead and get that from lotterypredict.com and there's a link down below in the description for that as well all right that's it i'll be back again later on with some more rundowns but in the meantime good luck and i'll catch you on the next one thanks bye